The Guru and the Chila by the beloved Ascended Master Kuthumi Published in the Bridge to Freedom Journals from April 1954 to October 1956 Your gracious teachings raise us ever higher Your gracious teachings raise us ever higher The Guru and the Chila by the Beloved Ascended Master Kuthumi, April 1954 Explanatory Note The Guru is the Divine Teacher. The Chila is the Disciple. Chila Beloved Master, how can I individually contribute to the light of the world? Guru Blessed Disciple, our Lord, Sanat Kamara, has said that light is primarily released through the feeling world, the emotional body. The cultivation of those qualities of feeling which are like unto the nature of God himself, peace, purity, harmony, balance, love, tolerance, kindness, compassion, mercy, and understanding, makes your feeling world emit light. The endeavor to transfer and convey your feelings of hope, faith, confidence, and loyalty to God into the consciousness and feelings of all you contact makes you thus not only a light shining in the darkness, but also a light conductor, igniting the souls of men to like endeavor. Beloved Master, how can one control the feelings which rise unbidden from the undisciplined soul and rush forth to add to the shadows of this earth plane? Blessed Disciple, there is but one power by which you can accomplish anything. That is the power of God that flows through your own individualized presence and gives the life to your feeling world. When you return the authority for the qualification of that life, to your presence and refuse to allow your feeling world the license to which it is accustomed in the seizing and misqualifying of pure God life, then that beautiful presence controls for you and through you your emotions. Beloved Master, I feel that the emotional body is an enemy to spiritual progress. Like St. Augustine, I am torn between what I know is right and what I constantly do in the generation of discord, which is wrong. The good I would, I do not, and that which I would not, that I do. St. Augustine Blessed Disciple, this is not a correct attitude. It creates a rebellion in your feeling world. Your emotional body was created by God for a definite purpose. The emotional body was designed to emulate the feelings of God and to expand the qualities of the God nature in whatever sphere the individual consciousness is functioning. The mental body was designed to create form, the feeling body to nourish that form with qualified life. It is primarily a gift of the Holy Spirit. And when one sins in feeling, he commits the sin against the Holy Ghost, which the Orthodox world has described as unforgivable. Beloved Master, is there then such a thing as an unforgivable sin of thought, feeling, or action? Blessed Disciple, no, because only perfection is eternal. Every mistake, no matter how great, is transitory and passing. The very law of compassion and mercy, which is the gift of the seventh ray, is the manifest proof that all sins, mistakes, and errors can and will be wiped out when the individual chooses to apply for the way and means to do so. The sins of the feeling nature, however, are the most difficult to overcome because the emotional body of mankind has ruled the mind and senses for many centuries. The emotional body is also the recipient of over 80% of the energies of the life stream, 
released through the silver cord into the use and control of the outer consciousness. It is, therefore, the most powerful of the instruments through which the soul seeks expression and ultimate mastery over energy, substance, and vibration. It is a better friend and servant than adversary. Beloved Master, how then may I make my emotional body my friend and servant? Blessed Disciple, by understanding that all your bodies, mental, emotional, physical, and etheric, are the servants of the Holy Presence which made you and which gives to you life, intelligence, and being. Return, then, the authority for the use of those bodies to that presence, and check your thoughts, feelings, and actions daily with what your conscience and heart tells you would be the thoughts, feelings, and actions of your own Christ. Gradually, they will be trained in serving him. <laughs>